I sold the red one because I thought, you know what, fuck it, I want to start building the full drive. And um, it turns out that it lasted four weeks without a golf. So I sold <laughs> the Navara and look where we are now. So this one's cleaner, less K's, and um, with the red one it had 300,000 kilometers, so I couldn't really push it beyond what it was at. And um, I reckon this is a pretty good platform. No, I went back to my five because my five is gangster. Yeah. Right. So as we as we sort of you know, if you don't know Mark Fives at all, they have the well this is the DSG version, you can get your manual version as well. But the GTI turbo versions came with uh, either pretty much a manual or a DSG. And um, DSG has the quickest as far as I was aware. Up till now probably I reckon Volkswagen still holds the record, but it has the quickest shift point between gears to date. So the DSG or the dual clutch a direct shift gearbox is still, as far as I'm aware, the best known dual clutch gearbox on the market that's been around since the early 2000s on these cars. These were the first cars to come out with it, other than supercars. And um, partly why we think this was really where Volkswagen sort of, I guess they all, Golf was, the Golfs were always popular, but once they hit Mark V, it just opened up the market to a new scene. And you found, like, look at us, I mean, we we're into our JDM stuff like the Sora and whatnot, but after you drive these cars, mm -hmm. you're sold. Like you, if you if you rubbish a golf, go drive one and you'll change your mind. No shit. But it doesn't matter. Like we're enthusiasts, we love everything. But you know, back in the day, we probably were a bit, you know, fuck going out anywhere near Euros. Well, that's what I was like. Yeah. And then Jack was like, once you drive one, you decide. I was like, ah, uh, I drove one, and I was sold. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly. wrong. Yeah. So, and but the plan of this one's going you know, pretty spicy, so we're excited. This is lower kilometres. And uh, I'll just pull the camera off so I'll show you. So we'll go through the mods now. But lower kilometres and uh, tight gearbox. The uh, the red one's uh, DSG wasn't too good. Yeah, she was slipping in, in reverse. Usually you test them, you put in reverse, and the car will actually jerk back and forth. But yeah, this one's. We'll take it for a test drive after we put this nice new bit of jewelry on. And then you, you will actually go through the actual um, shifting and whatnot. And anyway, first of all, we've got a KN Typhoon intake. So. Pretty much a straight two and a half inch pipe with a K and N obviously pod filter on the end, uh, just oil coated, which is probably the ones I recommend anyway. If you don't go paper filter, which is your best filtration, at least go K and N Aeroflow or any of those that are oil coated. Don't get the um, the standard bloody fabric shit. But anyway, so yeah, we got a K and N filter, uh, standard wheels so far, but suspension looks like it's been replaced. Got this nice sleeper uh, wing here that Jordan's got. Where'd you get that, man? Oh, it's higher. LSIR. 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 How much did you pay for that? Yeah, I like it, man, because we saw the other one. So if you didn't see the red TTI, it actually had a curved one and didn't have these little cutouts. This one looks way better. So anyway, get the same rear bumper. The dual exit. It's yep. so hard to find. Like no one sells them anymore. But luckily, I found this bloke from Marketplace that sells one that's just brand new. So hmm. I'll pick that up next week and get all rolling. Yeah, that's it. So the bumper he's talking about, if you want to go look for our previous videos, you'll see it's a rear section R32 style rear bumper, but it's not actually an R32 bumper, it's a fiberglass custom bumper. So Jordan fell in love with it, we're getting the same one, but now in white. And as you can see, if you haven't spotted already, this has an Audi tip on it. So it's actually had this rear muffler cut out, as you can see, the main big muffler. It's not the tidiest job, but bloody it does the job. It's got one muffler there in the center, and we will, we will be removing obviously the cats and stuff so single exit we should get some turbo whistle but anyway we'll see but nice carbon fiber bloody bling jordan's got a few ideas that you may have heard we've always wanted the carbon hood that is coming but um bumpers and the coolers 
runner flap deletes, K4 turbo. Yeah. We maybe even try and do something different, make it our own. Yeah. Well, I want to go stage three, but I don't want to do GTS because I've heard lag. Yeah. So I'm planning maybe we can do a high fly for K4 and you know, go crazy with that. Or what's that other tab you're talking about? Custom like V band style manifold in what? Trying out a few different turbos. Let's get an experiment and go crazy. Yeah. You know, we want to make a beast. Red one was a test, I guess you could say. And that turned out pretty good. So this one's going to be the more refined. Get into it. So first of all, coming on to a VWA engine. So you'll find this engine in Mark 6, VI, Mark 5, Sirocco's, uh, probably 2000. I think that they only came out with the engine actually. Uh, but in the Mark 6 Golf R and the Sirocco's, these actually have a K4 turbo. So a little bit more power off the bat and what you would consider a stage 2 tune on this car is equivalent to what's come standard on a Golf R. So anyway, this should apply to pretty much all those engines that come with either CDLC or CDL engine or VWA. Uh, check your books, you'll find that in the sticker there. And um, yeah, basically, to fit a downpipe, you can pretty much follow along with us. The difference between this and the Golf R is obviously going to be the ball drive system and the bevel box. If you're going to do it, if you're doing a downpipe on a Golf R, you probably need a hoist, to be honest, because you're going to have to move that tail shaft out of the way. And we usually use to zip tie it to the top of the tunnel. I could go into detail, but we're not doing that today because obviously this is a Golf GTI. So we don't have any all-wheel drive system. We don't have tail shafts. We don't have a bevel box. It's all clear, as you will see in the tunnel. So. I'll show you. Usually, down in there, you'll have all the oil drive system, but as you can see, she's just a big tunnel there. So we'll be able to get this, these two cats. So there's a big cat converter there and one underneath. We'll be able to get them out pretty quick and easily. And um, yeah, let's we'll see how we go. Also, let's sell those cats. Yeah, I forgot how much I got for the last one. I just remembered yeah, yeah. that. Pay, the exhort, the down pipe will pay for itself. So. Everyone loves cats. All right, so. To sell. You want to make it easier. <laughs> I probably recommend removing the intake and stuff. I'm going to not do that. And I'll just show you what we start with. So basically, we want to get the O2 sensor out of the way first. So if you want to come over here, can you see that? So see these wires here? This is your bloody O2 sensor, and that goes to the main pre-cat sensor at the top there. See, straight out of the turbo. So this is, this measures your actual bandwidth of, sorry, air fuel mixture or air fuel ratio coming out the exhaust pipe from the turbos. And um, the secondary O2 sensor is pretty much just reading and making sure that the cat converter is doing its job. So we'll pull the O2 sensor out. Now that's a 22 mil bolt, but we'll just um, undo these clips here. So it's just push those to the side, as you can see. One connector here. You, when you pull these off, push them towards each other. Hold that, like hold this, uh, see this little clip there? Hold that back and then she should be a pain in the ass. Yeah, there's there. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it'll come undone. So then we're going to flick this out of that little whatever it is. There we go. And then we're going to get a 22 mil spanner. You'll probably leave the O2 sensor in there actually and pull it out with it. But anyway, so there we go. Usually these will be an absolute prick and tight, very tight. But if you spray a bit of WD 40 or rust off on there, it'll loosen up the rust. Make sure as well you allow the exhaust to cool down that's actually pretty important cool the exhaust down first i should have said that at the very beginning oh, shit, she's all right, bro. <laughs> but yeah anyway we're pulling this o2 sensor out and you put this aside be careful you don't want to damage this part these are fucking expensive sometimes they're... i don't think we've done a golf fish hunt all whole way hey no no it's been fucking truck videos man it's been truck videos saw videos and yeah everyone wants to see the golf I mean, so there's our o2 sensor Looks like a knob, mate. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll put this aside, don't lose it. It's going back in, it's going to go into the new one. So, drill a hole and fit that, but I don't think we have one right now, do we? No, no but it's easy enough, it's pretty accessible if you yeah. just take it off to the fucking intake and chill it. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to have a pretty short sure 416s on the flange. Um, you'll see the flange in there, I'm not sure it'd be difficult to see with that camera, but we're basically pulling these 416s off here. So what I do, the trickiest one, as you'll see me getting in there, is going to be this one and this one. So you need an extension to get this one, um, as you'll see it's a pain in like, but if you've got an extension, it's not, like, I'll show you. So you start. A box of tricks. You got the extension, 
and a big nice half inch, you'll see that she won't be too bad. And we'll get her out. No drum. We haven't even jacked her off the ground yet. Throw. So you basically gonna have to this is this is tricky and bloody I'll get a get a torch so maybe you can this is this is tricky and annoying. Oh, How good's that? Yeah. So we're gonna flick it under these coolant pipes. I don't know if you can see that, but see this coolant pipe here? We're gonna flick it under there. Basically feed this up towards the down pipe. It is, it is fiddly, so just stay with me. And once you're on the bolt, as you can see, yeah, just right. Nice. The main thing you don't want to do when doing an exhaust is break the studs off. Oh yeah, nah. Because um, you know, you've been having a tough time then. Thankfully I've got being in the Volkswagen mechanic for a while, I've got a fair few studs yeah. to draw, but yeah, you don't want to snap studs because then obviously you're going to have an exhaust leak. And um, a pain in the ass and yeah. a lot of swearing to get them out. Yeah. yeah, you're not gonna have fun getting a drill in here to drill that stud out. There's not much room. You know, pull a turbo off, I reckon. Yeah. Maybe. I did contemplate getting JDM, but um, yeah, JDM prices nowadays are just ridiculous. You know, COVID tax and whatnot. But there you go. If so, you want a fun car, go from the drive. You know? Yeah. Or if you want a drift or anything, go real wheel drive like that. But if you want a nice track hill, fucking mm. fun car that you can do whatever you want, and you know, I reckon GTI is where it's at. But everyone's different, you know. We're all we all have our own taste and bloody. Yeah, as you see. Just Cars. <laughs> this is the secondary O2 sensor, so you see this wire here. It goes up underneath this bloody underbody protection and we're gonna just unplug it and gonna remove it and then transfer it over to the new one.
Thumbs up with the thumbs up. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Just like that. Just like that. that, that get, rid of that. that. get rid of that bit of poo there. Yeah, no one likes those things. They make you can't see them shit. And Bob's your uncle, there we go. It's all done. Hey, <laughs> fuck, Bob, <I'm> like. <laughs> Selling this puppy right here will pay for my damper in itself. Because <laughs> everyone loves getting the minerals and shit out of these things. Dirty. Mm, fuck you! <laughs> Some bling bling out. Uh, we'll compare it up to the old cat exhaust just to give you an idea of why it makes it sound shit. <sighs> so there we go. We can see right here. Ah, there is a. Substantial size difference between the two, and then yeah, it's what we like. Bigger the better. So we had a boo boo. We snapped the stun! But it's all good, it's on the joiner. So we're just gonna knock that out. So see, it's just a bloody stud there, but it looks like it's just one of those ribs, uh, ripped fucking. Yeah. I'll just smack in place and then just stay there. So it's gonna knock it out with a punch. So we'll see. Hopefully, we just put a box through there. It's real good. You know, I'm gonna put the shit through. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Now I'll put a little washer in there above. I might fit that section up fine, so I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty good last time. Alright. Should we? Alright. Hello? Uh, as I said in the previous video, you can stick some silicon, whatever you want, exhaust sealant, whatever you bloody want on these things. Uh, personally, I don't. I, I never really have. Never really had a problem. But yeah, if you want to stick some shit on there and make sure she doesn't bloody leak at all, go for it. But anyway, I'm not going to because I've never had an issue. And uh, yeah. I'll stick this right up on there. Usually I would clean the surfaces, but I think it should be right. The old gasket's down on the bottom here. Subway. <laughs> uh, she is off that, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, so now we have to figure out which way this goes. Okay, we got a yes, yes. So you've got a nice hole. Let's, let's, let's just grab the turbo shaft and have a little check. Ooh. Oh, it's water, mate. <laughs> there you go. So the gas gets on. You can see Jack's just changing over the mount onto the new one. As the, this kit doesn't come with one. Well, I don't think I any don't kit really comes with one. No. You, you, you get different style mounts, like some of them come with adjustable mounts here. Yeah. I know the APR one originally did, very, very original ones. But, um, nah, most of them bloody seem solid. Like, look at that, like, you can even see here that's bent. Probably from freight, I'd say. Oh, oh we'll get it to the shape. Let's hammer it. Yeah. Move her up. Come on, you know. And I have some grim under there. I can hurt. There we go. 
you would, I was gonna say, you would think they would take that, but they, they, they do, so don't worry. Oh, that's it, man. Tip, so I'm, I'm excited to, well, curious to see how it's going to sound. It'll be different. Yeah, so the old exhaust had a Y split to two exits. This one just pretty much straight one pipe only. So we're seeing, curious to see how it sounds different wise because it already has a muffled delete and all that. So it should be as loud as my red one was. And there we go. Well, mate. Well done. She's your car. I It's way deeper than I expected. Oh, listen to the fucking echo. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that sounds fucking cool. build or that uh, engine transplant. She's running. Just getting her up the tent. We're going to do a bit of a test ride. But yeah, she uh, is going. I've put her all back together, replaced taillights with wiring, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, long story short, she's going. And uh, we're about to test drive her, so see how she goes. I had to do a DPD. Uh, remove the diesel particulate diffuser on these things. It's called a diffuser. But yeah, she's good. So there you go, she's running pretty good.
Damn, you've been busy, man. Hey, what do you reckon? That is fucking cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, so you screwed it there? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Fuck, that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So later on, make it uh, solid. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, I'll be alright. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, so this is the first joint? Yeah. I see. Fuck yeah, that looks good. Fuck yeah, how's that? Yeah, some Yeah. Fuck that. Oh. Fuck that. Fuck that. They look cool, man. I've never seen anything. I, I, I haven't seen that in person before. Shit. We got um. We got put six studs and then we can chuck them on the Falcon and the Commodore too. Fucking oaf, man. I was just thinking, like, what would they look like on that, mate? Like? Yeah, yeah, bro. I reckon it looks good, man. What'd you do? Oh, true. Infill panel. Yeah, we just put it on. Uh, that looks pretty tidy, man. Last Monday, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that looks tidy. Shit. I don't know. I might put the Japanese in there, eh? I kind of like uh, instead of the spider web. What do you mean? Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything I don't, hear, I don't know, what do you reckon, Jack? You reckon that what? What do you mean? Like, after that, I'll weld it on the other side like so you gotta lift it obviously, then we gotta flip it over. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, we weld it. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna weld it like that. Boom, 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 boom. She's already held in there now. Oh yeah, it's already yeah, sort of see, solid. It's I, guess, I just let it, let it hang yeah. and then weld it like that later. I don't even think, I think you can get away with that one. Nah, it will flop around though. It'll be moving around. You like it, though? Yeah. It is what I was gonna do, Jack. I like this. Stop saying, turn him to a game. Take the best stop saying, put him on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Oh. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain, and you find a door. Open it up, and finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before. Uh, and even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Even when you feel low, you can still go. 
Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go I hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief They'll see what they make it to be But I just slide right back Low, you can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never go. answer to no man I still go Go, 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 you got a mind, but even that could change You can flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst I say and turn them to a game Take the best I say and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past start a pain and you'll find a door Open it up and finally explore everything you can never do before uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 Yeah, that's all you need to do is take the webs out, spray it red, spray them white, and it'll be like that. No, we've, we've made the way to me and then we'll make another one. Spray it out, and put, put that on there, and then when you when you wash it, you put that tray inside the tray. Yeah, yeah. So you just put water on it and soak, mm. and then scrub it off, and it's that's done. Easy as well, that's why we want to buy some more stick. That's why our Aunt Teresa's looking for stick today. She went to Woolies everywhere and couldn't find this metal stick. Yeah, yeah. It's better with metal stick, man. Yeah, because you see the better one is casino, man. Put casino in it. Oh, fuck yeah, casino. With ball. Woohoo! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Filipino <laughs> styles, brother. Shit. Oh, that Filipino street bread, bro. Fuck this guy. I reckon we should go all back, man. Yeah. What do you reckon? Fuck, I'm Next year. Really? What, back to Philippines next year? Colour. Colour fast. 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 Colour fast.
and and uh, 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 what's the name of the? Oh, yeah, right. Shh. Now you don't have to put a different lyrics though. Oh, just the one you bought from the car. Yeah. What are you reckon as a youth? I reckon. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, uh, I was gonna put a bad color on it. Looks like so a fucking like like drink, man. And the flame is gonna be shiny. I'm keen to see this, man. I kind of want to do that to my car now. That that's a bad car, man. Oh, you know, you know, Midnight like, Purple, like, they put it on a GTR. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that reminds me, like, just like, I reckon, if you had yours, like, it's on the Jade. Yeah. 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 Sick, bro. Oh, that one. Well painted, like them patterns. Yeah, that pattern. Like, you know, like, well, are you? With that purple, like, with that, uh, purple, yeah. yeah. Like, it'll be blue. What, what's the actual name of that color? The purple one? Like, Plum. 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 Yo, I'm gonna put that on my sub. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, man.